All right, we're starting a new series, DGS, Dream Garage series, where we're gonna be building out the garage. Dogs are ruining the intro. So I wanna show you guys kind of around this thing. So as you can see, it's filthy. Just moved in, this is all, most of this is my junk. There's some other people's junk in here as well, but we're gonna sort it all out. The four doors here, four seater beater, still broken, has not been fixed. All the walls, as you can see, are kind of this white color. They're not bad but I'm probably gonna brighten them up in here. Also, we only have this garage light and that light there, which is, if you guys work on cars at night or in your garage, terrible lighting. So I need to find a spot for all of this stuff in the meantime while we're working. And then this wall over here, there's nothing there. There's a bunch of cables and stuff, which I gotta figure out what all that goes to and if it needs to be there or not. We have the water heater, so that's gonna kind of take up a corner which would be a great corner for like an air compressor to be underneath it. Otherwise we're not gonna have any usable space. So essentially this is a 19.5 by 19.5 square. Square footage in here, I believe we did the math on it, it was like 380 or something. So my goal is to turn it into a, a spot that is really nice, nice enough to be like a studio to continue filming and do different videos for you guys and then make it a nice enough spot to work on things in as well. We have a couple of things coming. For those of you who didn't see the post on Instagram, we have Ligari epoxy flooring, which is already here. And then we have a lev rack on the way. So we're gonna have a nice storage unit with a workbench over here on this wall. And then I wanna paint the roof and I wanna install lights and kind of get this place all decked out. So do the floors, do the walls, do the lights. So I'm kind of getting stuck on like these like little garage hacks and things. So if you guys know about any, I'm like how to, I don't know, like one of them's this like magnet thing that you do with the roof and an LED light and I gotta go buy magnets and I wanna do that. But like there's little tricks and stuff to maximize your space and not make it like look super cluttered and actually very useful and different things like that. So anyways, with that being said, let's go pick up the lights and then we gotta go get some paint and then we'll come back home and it's time to just empty out this garage so we can paint the ceiling, paint the walls and then prep the floors and get ready to do floors. Let's go boys. DGS, oh, 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 oh. Now that you understand what's going on with this whole project, we're at one of my favorite places to shop. Not a lot of people like this place, and then there's a ton of people who love it. I'm one of the guys who loves it. We out here, baby, Harbor Freight. We gotta get some stuff for the garage. There's a few things, a couple things. Let's go, let's go inside and pick up some stuff. One of the things that we're gonna have an issue with in the garage, as you saw, it only has one light, so, we need to get some lighting for the garage. Now, there's a couple of different options that we have. One of them is link up to eight. There it is, 55 lumens. So you can link up to eight lights. So you power up one and it turns on eight different lights. I think that's gonna be the one that I'm gonna go with. I think I'm doing that. There's a Labor Day sale, 20% off. Oh, but these are like, so this is, oh, that's a big panel boy. 10,000 lumens. Too much, bro. Too much. I want I want to go straight through the light right into the ceiling, but I think with this I can't because it's got this cover here. So it's like whatever that thick. And then on top of it, the line, the wire's coming out of the top. On these ones, the top's flat. And I can go straight through the aluminum right here. I might just do four of these bad boys. Maybe like four of these and then like maybe two of these to put in other spots. We can do like a couple of these. We'll do four of these for now. All right. And then we need to get some extension cord stuff. All right, so, so far, where are we at? 337. So we'll have two lights on our rack system. One over our bench, and then the other one over our cabinets. And then the last one, I guess we're gonna figure out something to do with it. Because we got a discount if we bought the third one, so whatever, they made me, they got me. And spent, and spend more. And then the four, figure out if we use all four of them. We gotta see how bright they are. 10,000 lumens is a lot, so we'll see what's up. All right, so 300 bucks in light so far. Uh, now we're off to get some paint. Oh, two were, two were matching, dude. Colt, we're totally matching. Me and Colt are matching, didn't realize. We're matchy boys. Um, so I picked out some paint. We got a flat black for 
the ceiling, and then we're gonna do a semi-gloss white wall. Bunch of roller stuff. Can I bought a plant? And actually a few plants. A few plants. I'm not gonna get so, this one. Well, so we need to go back to the plant side. Oh my gosh. Alright, back to plants. Here we go. Alright. Go time. You guys wanna see a time lapse of me cleaning this garage? Well you're gonna. Empty garage. Hugo's here. Asado. What's up? So uh, you might have seen his butt in the uh, time lapse. That was Hugo. So we got all the stuff. We got our paint from Home Depot. We got our lights from Harbor Freight. A couple of buckets and things. And then we got all of our Ligari products. We'll open that up and look at it. But that's going to wait. We'll do a whole episode just on the floors. I want to open up one of these lights and see how bright it is. Oh. Not bad, huh? It's good. Not as bright as I thought it would be. How bright does it look? Hey, everybody. It's pretty bright. Is it pretty bright? Here, trade me. I mean, it's bright, like, right on you. But it's not like, uh, I mean, I guess, huh? You got four? I got four. Yeah. You're solid. Solid, huh? Hold on, let's try this. Supposedly, you can daisy chain these all together. So, so wait a second. Okay, so now those are plugged in each other. So I turn this one on, right? Turn that one off. Does it shut off both of them? Oh, you gotta still turn them all on and off individually. I guess you can't ask for much. It's good. I suppose. Ah, ah damn it! <laughs> well, those are cool. Four of them in here, especially at night, would definitely light up the garage. I was hoping that. One would control the others if you like left this one on. Oh, you know what you could do? Turn that one on. Watch this. Hold that. Don't don't drop that. You know what you could do is do a main power disconnect. Now both of them are off. And then I plug it back in, and both of them are back on. Boom! We just figured it out. Toma. Set it and forget it. Cool. So those aren't as bright as I thought they would be, but they're definitely bright. Oh my God, there's a monster over there. They're definitely bright. All right, well, let's get set up for some painting. What are you guys, what are you doing outside? There you have it. Empty garage. I already started, Hannah got mad at me. She's like, yeah, you do before and after it. I, uh, I uh, covered the little thermal things on there and started spray painting them black. Dude, we should have just spray painted the whole garage. We should just spray paint the whole garage. Get the little uh, attachment can. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna buy one of those because I'm gonna need that for our cabinets inside. It's a house. joke. We're roll brushing. We're brushing everything. We're rolling the whole thing. I think what we're gonna do is end up after figuring out the lights. This is hardwired into that switch there, which is the light for the garage. So. What we'll do is hard light, hard wire in the first light, and then daisy chain the rest of them so that that controls all of the lights in here. Okay, so while Micah is going to tape up all the walls for the paint, he wants me to undo all of these guys, unscrew all of them, so I can take out the gold and then we can paint all the silver part black, since they're gonna be up there and he wants everything black up there. 
so that it'll all kind of blend in. See? Correcto? Yeah, the tracks are already black. You can see all the overspray that's on the roof. We're not worried about that. We painted all that black, so that's all blended. I know it's kind of tacky because we painted the the um, outlet thing and all that, but I don't know. It actually know. looks cool. One of the other things I did see is that guys sell an LED kit that bolts onto your door, and it has like a fly fan switch. So when the garage door opens, it hits a power switch and turns on the LED lights that are on the door. Therefore, you don't lose any other lighting. But anyways, I do wish I was cold right now. <laughs> This is difficult, staring up the whole time and brushing everything. It could be worse, we could be in North Korea. But also, like, paint. This just like randomly threw up on me. I'm covered in like black little droplets. I'm sure my face has got a bunch of ugly on it. Maybe that's just my face. I spilled a bunch of paint here. That's when it threw up on me. Um, so we'll let this dry a little bit and then we'll come back to it probably tomorrow and do one more coat over the whole thing. But Hannah's project look ain't good. The side that's gonna Ooh. be shown looks really good. Yeah, it looks great. Nice flat. So let's yeah. go ahead and do that you. matte finish. Beautiful. Yeah. So, so I'm gonna screw them. Those back. look great. Um, all four of them are done. You ready to throw them back together? Handle it. Check it out. Much better than the gray. And then they're gonna blend in with that ceiling a lot more as well. And then uh, we'll get those mounted in the uh, in the ceiling and then we'll find uh, keepers for the line, the wire, so the wire looks all good. But we can't mount those until we go over the second coat. So we're not gonna show you guys the second coat that's boring, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. We'll just go straight to mounting the lights after this. So here we go. Next morning. There it goes. Pretty sick. Old TV that we were gonna throw away. And an Apple TV unit just got us a garage TV. We got a garage TV now, boys. Making progress. Let's close this real quick for effect. I already painted the ceiling. I'm marking up the second light here. You can see it's still got a few streaks here and there. You can see a big one there. So you can kind of see this darker corner of the room versus over there in that area. It's gonna be really bright and nice. I went and got the other two lights already, painted them black already, drilled holes and everything. So we're mounting them by drilling a hole in the center and then putting in like a little uh, drywall in the roof. But we'll have three. So one, two, and then three will be somewhere around where that sprinkler is at. I think it's gonna be just beyond it. I'm spreading these out five foot gaps between the lights, which as you can see here, 
kinda, which is, that's the whole beauty of this is that I wanted it all black. You can kind of see the cable there, the wire, that plugs into this light. So they're daisy chained together. And you can kind of see it's like almost barely in there to a degree. But after we work it, and I'll probably heat gun the, the wire just to kind of get a little bit more flex out of it and manipulate it just a little bit more how I want it. Five foot gap between those is about perfect. So we're three foot off the wall on both sides, and then we're five foot off of that wall in between, because this is a 20 foot section. So five foot increments would put three lights right in the center of those five foot spots. We're gonna remove these, uh, the gold pull links because again, we're gonna have it all run off of just the switch, which that would essentially act like this. So now the power's off. And then when you turn on the power, both the lights would come on. And we'll have that same effect, but with six lights. So I'm gonna keep going on these lights because I gotta get them up, I gotta get them done. Or, but the black ceiling and the black tracks and the black centerpiece look really good. Still haven't decided what I'm doing with this side but uh, definitely at least gonna paint to where the brake is in the J-Track, so that it's not just like some random stop and spray. But I really like the way this is coming along, dude. After I get these lights mounted, I'm gonna touch up the roof. The electrician is coming actually tomorrow, so we'll turn that into an outlet. But we'll keep getting all these lights mounted, and uh, hopefully we can get some really good lighting in here. So far with just two of them on this side, that is like, you can see, the difference, it's almost night and day. Light puns! Just kidding. Anyways, vamanos. So they're all laced together, just for the sake of seeing what it looks like with just the original light. Very dark. Now with the six. Boom. Shop's got a light, boys. Let's go! Next thing we gotta do is tape up the ceiling so we can paint the walls white. So LED lights are installed, there's six of them, and they put off a ton of light. Now we just got our electrician to come in and plumb that. Excited, dude. Look how much light there is in here. Jeez. Gotta get Hannah in here to see her reaction. Go ahead. Cool. Off. Leave her alone. So, oh. here you have, like, I'm gonna get all these, these wires all like buttoned up against the ceiling. Yeah. So they're clean. But that's the one original. Now uh, with all the doors closed and everything. Here is the six. Oh, it's way brighter in here, huh? That is so bright. Yeah, and now it's making me consider not painting the walls white. We made a lot of mistakes, though, so we do have to... Clean. No, 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 no. It's still gonna, we're still gonna paint it. I just don't know about white anymore. White, white. You can try to make it a little, like, clean creamer. We can take it back to Home Depot and, like, have them mix in with the little... No, I want, like, white or black. So you do want white? I want either white or black. I like the, the black metal though. Yeah, the black metal looks good. Yeah, and the black ceiling. Yeah, so I'm excited for them to turn that into an outlet because that'll turn, essentially make that switch on the wall of this here. Yeah. But yeah, quite a bit of difference as far okay. as the lighting in here. Oh yeah, huge difference. Yeah, so now we have plenty of light to film and do different things for you guys in here. Hey, now the roof, the freaking neighbors will definitely think it's a grow house. It's a grow house for sure. So we thought this was a grow, a grow house before because the windows are painted white, uh, but there is no lighting in here. So they weren't growing in here, or if they were, they tore it all out, but there was no signs of anything in the drywall. Anyways, point is now it definitely looks like a grow house. There you have it. Lights are installed. It's fairly easy to do. You guys could totally do this. I think that it turned out instead of the 330, we added a hundred bucks to it because we got two more lights and they're about 50 bucks a pop after taxes. So you got whatever, 50, 100, 200, 
300. I want to say it was more than that. Oh, it's because we bought those other little lights. If you want to do just, just this lighting, it's around 300 to 350 bucks. Because you got 50 a piece and there's six of them. It's about 300 bucks to get this lighting in your garage. There are other ways to do it. There's cheaper ways you can go on Amazon and find something, whatever. But this were these were local and I like the way that they daisy chain together. And so I'm pretty stoked on the way these came out. So for 300 bucks, roughly 350, for 350 bucks, you can light your garage up like this. One of my goals with this series is to show you guys like, hey, it's not that expensive to put together something that's pretty nice and decent for you yourself to work in. And whether you guys have a channel or you just wanna have a nice area to work in or you wanna turn something into a man cave or whatever, I'm no stranger to the fact that I'm not the brightest bulb in a tanning bed, okay? But the point of me saying that is, is that if I could do this, you could do this too. I think this is, 10,000 a piece, so 60,000 lumens in a two car garage. Not bad. Next step, paint the walls. I gotta paint this like concrete thing. I'm gonna paint that black, just that section right there. Paint this whole thing black. I'll probably paint that black and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, there's a lot of painting to do, so better get started. Here we go. 346 minutes later. Damn, fool. It is bright up in this mofo. Uh, I still gotta paint like all that edge and stuff. But uh, this is the, what the walls look like all white. Keep this cut. I gotta like go behind all those lines too, but I ran out of paint. But good God, dude, it's bright in here. I think I'm calling it for tonight. Gonna go inside, play some Call of Duty. But yeah, anyways. This place is looking sick. These walls are bright. Definitely gonna have to do like a logo or something on that. I was thinking the back of the hoodie, the whole fast USA on the wall right there. I don't know. Maybe something in the center over here. I don't know. I figure we end the episode here. Painted the garage, got the lights done. It looks good, looks good. I'm pumped, dude. Thank you guys as always for watching. All this stuff is possible because of you guys, but we're also making this super dope space so we can create dope content for you guys, for companies, for partners, for all of our stuff, because we're learning a lot about what it means to be a professional race car driver that also has a media platform. So, with that being said, this would be a lot harder to do without you guys. So I appreciate you guys' support. Garage is looking dope. Got a few more things to do. On to the next one, boys, stay safe. Go, cool. come here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh my god. Oh.